That sucks. Oh, I did not enjoy that at all. Why did that happen? Oh my god. We are cringing right now. The sad and distraught man you just saw is me, Jack Light, also known as the Dumb White Boy, and I believe myself to be the best gamer I know. This is what keeps me going in this cruel, cruel world. The man you see behind me is my longtime friend and soon-to-be roommate, Joe. He is a true gamer like me and has been gaming since he was a baby. He's trained for this life. He is the single reason my belief in my gaming ability ever falters. Well, actually not Joe, but his alter ego, Josuke. In every game, he goes by this name, and now he's made it into my nightmares. Then. My nightmares came true. He was better than me at one game. Nintendo Switch Sports Badminton. Here's the story of how I overcame my nightmares and defeated the beast. Me and Joe and our innocent friend Adam go on a trip to Havasu. And Joe brings the Nintendo Switch. We plan to play Smash Bros Ultimate and Mario Kart, but he forgot Mario Kart and only has Nintendo Switch Sports. We thought, hey, why not bowl a little? This is where his plan starts to begin and begins to fail. First game starts and he's bowling great. Me? Not so much. First game ever. I mean, I've bowled on a Wii. This is a whole different world. The flick I've known for years not spinning the ball as it should, and my pal is sitting down, laughing at me. End of the first game, and he absolutely crushes me. I say, again, I can't let him beat me. This time around, I skip trying to flick and go for the safe game. Getting 8 pins and sparing, 9 pins and sparing, it was clean. Joe did his usual thing, sits there casually, bowls, and acts like it's nothing for him. As the second game comes to an end, I'll just let you try to guess what the score could have been. Who could have won? Who's the victor of this battle? It's actually quite tremendous what happens. By the end of it, we... I muted myself out of anger because we tied, we tied, and I was really upset about it, and th this cannot count. I didn't beat him. He still has his soul intact. We have to go again. I have to see him weep, and the game starts, and I go for the throat, not missing a spare and throwing a couple strikes. I'm looking like a pro bowler at this point. Adam is impressed as he spectates us. Joe, I can see his sweating, and I can smell his fear. He became what I would call a little scaredy baby man. And as he should be, the game ends, Jack is on top. Joe's not happy, and when he's not happy, he has to take away someone else's happiness to feel whole again. He says, Badman's the best game on here, you can't beat me. I do not turn down a challenge. He steps back and lets me and his poor lad Adam play first since he's the goat or something stupid like that. As me and Adam are learning the game, we get to about three matches and where Adam won two, I won one. A little strange, he beat me twice to my once. He must be cheating, but whatever. I'm still focused on ending Joe's crusade on happiness. I have to save Adam and destroy Joe before he comes too strong. I start my final boss fight against this beast we call Joe. This is where your hero, the dumb white boy, I start to falter. I will not put you through the torture I was put through, so I've cut down this bout and sped it up. If you made it this far, I thank you, and you're welcome for not making you watch another three hours of bad badminton and a curly-headed boy crying. Let me repeat, this man beat down one of his best friends for three hours in a game. You think he gives me at least one match, but no, he could not hold back. He just sat back laughing at me. It takes me about two of those three hours to understand how he's doing this to me. Then boom, I saw it. It wasn't about the big, explosive, overhead, Thanos snapping hits I thought I needed. I need to be methodical and think it through. I could slowly see his play unfolding. He'd usually get to serve since he's beating me. He serves, I return. Then he gets me in a corner, pushing my little sim me boy I'm controlling as far back. Then boom. Me and Joe were screaming at him that his player was faster, but he wasn't faster, just smarter. Not Joe. His me was smarter. As my papa once told me, fight fire with fire. So I did the exact same thing back to him. Push him far, far back. Fuck you, Joe. Then hit it short. Now this is three hours deep it took me to figure this out. My arm is heavy, knees weak. I'm quite literally the slimmest shady. At this point, I honestly feel bad for Joe. This can't be fun for him. Am I even competition to him? 
This is the lowest I've ever been in gaming. The one thing you want to know about the dumb white boy? <laughs> he does not lose. Never. Three and a half hours, I say one last game. He gets served first point per usual. This I'm used to. I'm in my home on defense. He gives his usual close serve so he can push me back. I know this. I have a fantastic defensive play to get the shuttlecock to his side. He tries to push me even farther back then goes for his plan and hits it short. Boom! I get there and his, hit it his opposite corner. He has a weak pickup and I crush it. 1-0 me. But I've been here before. The battle isn't over. I get to serve now. Put the deep bad call. He gets me when my me is on their heels and I can't get to his short ball. Joe. Josuke. The evil inside him still grows. He goes back to his short serve, deep ball, devil worshipping tactics, little does he know, I am the devil. 2-1, me. Like I said, I'm at home on defense, because serving kills. I like to serve the ball deep, so I can have time to set my feet behind the net. This round, I decided to keep pushing him back. Push him left, push him right, push him left, push him right. I was just trying to find anything I could, but he found his spot before I could find mine. 2-2, two, two. I'm sweating, but the sweat only fuels me. Joe does the same thing he always does. Serve short, I play my game, and he fumbles the goddamn bag. Horrible hit to where I absolutely crush it back right corner. 3-2. I pulled out the secret play. The speed cock gambit. I switched up, gave him a short serve. He gave me another short hit to preserve his footing, but this was exactly what I wanted. I gave him a quick overhand to my lovely back right corner and make it 4-2. It's time, boys. I go back to the deep serve. We have a couple good rallies, back and forth, back and forth, then I give him a weak hit back. He capitalizes and breaks my stupid character's ankles. Get up! 4-3, <sighs> Joe always comes back. This would not be the first time I've seen it. I have to focus. Short serve as usual, he pushes me back, then goes short. I have a fantastic pickup, and as he's startled, I put it short on him, and he can't do the same big boom spike as he always wants to. Game over. 5-3, Joe's defeated. The dumb white boy rises from the ashes with a glorious gallop, still known as the best gamer ever.